Hi all. Hope you had a blessed day today. Tonight I'd like to talk about 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. You know, for a long time in David's life, talking about King David, nothing, nothing looked good. His family underestimated him. His enemies hated him. And his father-in-law spent years trying to kill him. But through all that, despite what was going on around him, David held on to the promise that God would make him the king of Israel. David never gave up. He never gave in. He stayed very close to God and they waited for him to bestow his promised blessings on him. Despite all the pain and heartache that David endured, he knew that even when life wasn't going his way, he still served God. He knew God would keep his promise. And this is the same God that loves, protects us, and fights for us. Through Jesus, he's given us unlimited access to himself. We can never lose the love that he has for us. No matter what's going on in our lives, no matter what's going on around us, he will never stop loving us. David recognized this and proclaimed it. And every single day of our lives, we have the same opportunity to do the same thing. There are two ways that we can thank God for his goodness and his love. One, we could thank him in prayer. It's okay to pray for things that we want or need. And it's okay to ask him for things. But real relationships include give and take. So at least once a day, we should be going to God in prayer and thanking him for something he's done, no matter how small or how big, and not ask for anything. Just thank him. Two, you can share your story. What has God done for you in your life? Where has he shown up or shown off in your life? Where has he protected you? Look for opportunities in your daily life to share your story with someone else. You'd be surprised how sometimes that can turn someone around. Right now, there is nothing that you have ever faced in your life or ever will face that is too much for God. He loves you. So bring him your concerns, your worries, your anxieties. Surrender your expectations and allow him to reveal the goodness in your life. God bless you all.